Hi, this is Paul Crow, and we're on the homepage here of Spicer Blog. And in this video, we're going to look at the snipping tool. The snipping tool is built into both Windows Vista and Windows 7, and it's a screen capture tool. So what it does is it takes screenshots or pictures of what you're looking at on your computer screen, the same way as I'm taking a video of what we're looking at on the computer screen. Um, in the past, you could use the print screen button on your computer to take a screenshot, but that had to take the full screen and be very messy and not very good to be honest. The other option you had of course was there's add-ons and plugins for Chrome and Vista or Chrome and Firefox in which you could uh, download a screen capture and most of these are very good but with snipping tool you don't need to download anything and it's there all the time built in ready to use and it's very simple to use and there are a couple of extras you have in it that you can add highlighters or you can use a pen to underline stuff and so on. So let's look at how to get and how to use it because it is really really simple. So the best way to get your snipping tool, to find it, let's drag this over down here, is to go to your start menu, down here, you will see the search field, and let's type in, type in, say an IPP, snipping tool, and there's the result up the very top, snipping tool, and once we click on that, it opens up, small window, and we get a couple of options before we start. So, before I start, I can click this, just drop down beside new, and pick what type of of screen scrap capture or screenshot that I like. So a free co free form snip is basically self-explanatory. You can take a snip of any part of the page in any kind of shape. A rectangular snip is once again self-explanatory. You take a snip in a rectangular shape, but you can take it as big as small as you like. A window snip it basically takes a, a screenshot of the whole window that you're looking at. So basically it would take what's called above the fold. So whatever part of the screen you can see, it takes a screenshot off. Okay, so it just takes what you can see, whereas the full screen snip takes the whole page. So even the part you can't see, right down to the bottom of the web page, it takes the whole page. Um, so you have them four options. I'm going to leave it on rectangular snip, and it's actually ready to go. So if we just click that back up, if you look at my cursor, you can see it's turned into a plus sign, a little plus sign, and that means that it's ready to take a snip. So I'm just going to take it of this little summary box here. So let's start up in the corner here, and I'm going to left click and hold. And then drag down, you can see the red line coming out where I'm taking the screenshot. And you can make this as big or small as you like. I'm just going to grab that much. And as soon as I let go of the left button, up it pops. And that's the screenshot taken. That's ready to use now. I can click here and up and save the snip, upload it to my computer. There's a, a short link here if you wanted to email it off to somebody. But it's ready to go. Um, there are a couple of options. Um, we have a highlighter pen. So I could highlight part of the page of a light. You need a steady hand for this because I was trying it earlier on. Um, it's not easy. If I could highlight that, there's a pen if I wanted to do a big messy circle around part of it. Or if I wanted to just do a little line under part of the text or something like that. And you can undo these things with the with the rubber icon. Um, and once you're ready, if you edit the picture, same thing again. You can just save it there or click file and save as and save it to your, to your computer. And then go and upload it onto your, onto your blog or your website or photo book it or onto Facebook or wherever you want to upload it. Um, and once again, you can email it off to somebody and do what you like with it. So a really, really useful tool um, that's built into your computer. And um, rather than going searching for it every time, I mean, if I get it up again, snipping tool. What I've actually done, I removed it just so I could show you in this video. Why do a tool like this? Because I use it quite a lot. Is if you click it, click on it and hold, click and hold on it, you can drag it down to your taskbar. So let's drag it down there and drop it in. And it didn't drop in, of course. Let's go again. There it is. So now it's dropped in, ready to use any time I wanted. The other option you could have is to right click on it and pin it to your start menu. So if you pin it to your start menu, when you click your start menu, it'll be there ready to use. Or you can just search for it every time. So a really, really useful tool for screen capture. And as I say, without need to download an add-on or a plugin. Um, and it's, it, you know, it does exactly what it says in the tin in a way. Um, as we say over here, no bells and whistles, just a screenshot. So, hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.